Good morning, everyone. Daniel Miller here. Thank you so much for coming and joining our Destiny broadcast again. Um, we had a wonderful day yesterday, um, a lengthy nine-hour stream, um, which was the first one after I got back from my holiday. And uh, um, I have to say it was probably one of the most challenging streams I had so far because um, I managed to complete only two different missions and each one of those was extremely difficult. Um, so it did take a little while to get into the swing of things and uh, um, complete those two. Um, the uh, uh, game with three wizards at the end was um, astonishingly difficult and there was a death match halfway through which was very very hard um, and um, there weren't any people coming in on co-op so um, it was a busy day though but overall I think that this particular mission was not frequently played in Destiny and uh, um, you know you can really tell by the quantity of players that come in at you know different times but uh, it's the most popular or the least popular part of the game. Um, uh, one of our community members got in saying that he played that particular mission for a very, very long while and he couldn't complete it as a single player. So I was pleased at the end. Um, I was able to complete it. But, you know, the benefit of being here, um, watching our live streams and then participating in the community is exactly that. Um, we get together, we talk about gaming, uh, we share different tips, we joke, we talk about life um, and most importantly we have a lot of fun. So you know if there's no fun in it then obviously it's not worth doing. So um, thank you so much for coming back to our broadcast and we will commence now with another uh, Destiny live gameplay and without further ado We'll proceed. Every time we log in, we proceed. We'll sign in as Warlock and under the name of DRB Miller. In other words, myself. Oh, there's some problem with our Destiny servers today. Um, it's been experienced quite frequently in the recent months. Um, which is a bit disappointing. I'd really like my community, you know, to be kind of left waiting. Nobody likes to be heard from a few guys that not that many people play Destiny 1 anymore, but I don't think that's quite true. Perhaps not on PlayStation 4, but on other forums and, you know, via other platforms, people are very much uh, deep into it. And a few people got back to me in the last couple of days saying that you know they want to revisit because they're playing the tournament now on Destiny 2 which had kicked off about two days ago so absolutely wonderful news but we have to be patient as we are dependent on our Destiny service and we can't do anything before the game connects in full and there we are it is connecting I had a few emails during my break and quite a few of you were asking whether I would consider jumping in with uh, another golden oldie so that the day would be differently scheduled. I'd have a major section of the day with one game, in this instance it's Destiny, um, and then another with uh, one of the games that I loved playing a little while back. And I think it is a wonderful suggestion. In fact, this is the way I play games overall, but I was not really providing that within my uh, kind of streaming capacity because I was focusing just on one game at all times. And uh, I'd be quite curious to hear from 
um, the rest of you um, whether you'd be quite keen on viewing some of those games. I have a very very large collection and I thought always the best way of doing it is to play one FPS and then one RPG or adventure and it makes it really a nice mix and you know the actual choice of the titles would be always kind of compatible you play let's say a sci-fi style game as FPS and you go to I don't know crime story stroke adventure survival horror something like that um, which makes it really nicely balanced uh, drop me an email send us a message on Twitter let us know and obviously I'll consider it and um, I'll build the entire system around it I think it will provide us with a lot of um, fertile ground for discussion uh, for extra tips and you know the usual and also uh, I want to tell you is that I will be opening my new discord channel as well so that will be a new platform in addition to everything else through which we'll be able to talk and communicate perhaps offline and at times so we are doing something else um, usually it can be you know used as a follow-up to a particularly interesting gaming session or particularly hectic kind of community event and I will let you know so you know keep your eyes out uh, on my Twitter the news will be posted there and uh, we are going to be having a lot of fun um, in addition to those who are interested as you know I am a great sort of comic strip stroke video gaming fan but also run a channel which is dedicated to film and film history and that channel will also be evolving into something similar with streams and with interviews and you know, various other things which are film dedicated and you know we'll be able to comprise um, things um, kind of connected to the gaming world as well um, particularly the films which are kind of brought to the big sc I mean the games that are brought to the big screen or you know the comic strips and etc so uh, I will inform you on the development as well so just please do um, uh, you know keep your eyes on my Twitter and my news feeds and there will be all of that information provided there so we will proceed very shortly and I thank you all for coming again it is going to be yet another wonderful Destiny World gaming session ahead of us I got a couple of messages coming in already uh, it's Freezy Weezy uh, hi, hi, how are you doing? thanks for coming today and joining our broadcast um, I think, I'm not sure what the message says, Destiny 1 has got more players than Destiny 2. Absolutely. I think many, many people who play Destiny 1 for uh, a very long while always love revisiting the game and communicating to you know the other community members. So it's always wonderful to join back in. Uh, I've not entered the competition that is currently played on Destiny 2, but from what I could gather on online forums, it is very popular and a lot of people had come in so it's definitely worth checking out as well but we are going to be continuing with our destiny the collection straight away so we are warlock human male drb miller and we are signing in now there we go back in the orbit and obviously we are going to go back to our base I need to tell you that um, we acquired this beautiful new ship which obviously you can see on your screens and um, this was the result of completing one major section of the game prior to me going away on holiday and uh, um, it's just absolutely amazing to be able to fly this one it looks more modern it's faster and it gives us a sense of achievement that we have progressed this far so firstly we will go to our HQ and we will debrief um, you know everything to our commanders for our last mission and then we will ask for further instructions so off we go to the uh, uh, the last city on earth to our HQ which is based in the tower stand by
and advance. Look at this beautiful view. Absolutely gorgeous, wonderful. Way, way above. That's what I'd say. There we go. Back to the base. There we are. It's great to be back. Let's very quickly have a look at our inventory. We have this wonderful, wonderful coat. So you can see with lots of different pouches for our survival kit. We have, we have a top-notch um, semi-automatic weapon. At the moment it's a pulse rifle. Brand new boots which are sufficing us more than well. Uh, you know, when proceeding with our missions um, on all of all of those different planets, and first, first of all, we'd have to go to our um, master Rahul, who will uh, decode some of the engrams which we collected. So, off we go. There he is, Cryptark, Mister Master Rahul. Hello, sire. Happy to help. Indeed, we have a couple of engrams to decode. May I proceed, sire? Very fine. Hmm? We didn't get anything. Nothing is impenetrable. Hopefully, this is close. Stay safe. Well, we have Salis and Fen 1, but I think that Salis and Fen 1 may not be as uh, pertinent as the one that I'm currently wearing. So let's have a look. Always an interesting conversation, Guardian. Thank you, sire. Fear God. Honor the king. Shall we get started? We are re establishing signals to the reef. No parcels for us? That's cool. So let's have a look at our inventory. Let's see what we've got. Uh, there is this new Salis Infant 2. Two oh, 245 defense. Right. So it's a lot more pertinent than the one we've had. Um, well, it does have uh, uh, 245 defense points. Intellect of 42. Discipline of 39. We increase the amount of scout rifle ammunition you can carry, <laughs> increases armor when using an arc based subclass. So, absolutely, we will equip it straight away. So, let's have a look. Oh, looking pretty similar. So, let's have a look at our inventory. And we have some consumables and some ornaments and some materials. Uh, let's have a look. We have this rune, reputation booster, returning a spark of light. Buzz. We can't use it, can we? Nope. Resupply cards, ornaments, let's see. White crime and material. What is it that we've got here? Passage coin, exotic shard. Right, so we've got all of these. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look here. That was not very wise of me. Let's have a look what else we've got in there. Crest of Velocity, that really helped, I have to admit. Blessing of the Sentinel emblem. And then we have Mammoth, we have Revolver, we have Rune of the Disciple, the Obelisk, Bomb Squad, Sentinel's Crest, and Crosshair's Badge. 
Ooh, we'll have maybe... No, actually, I'll keep the blessing, Crest of Velocity. I quite like the idea of having, you know, more velocity. Shaders. Alright, equip this one. Let's see. Oh, we've got different color now. Where's this? Tristesse, <coughs> armor shader. Equip the shader to change the color of your armor. And we've got somewhat different color now. I think it's probably less detectable to what we've had. So that's pretty good. Looking good. Which one do you like better? Blue one? Or the grayish yellowish one? I think I like <coughs> the blue one better, but perhaps he is, you know, I am a bit more detectable when wearing it. So I'll prefer obviously something which is less visible and khaki that can kind of blend in within the environment. Uh, all right, so that's all done. And now we are to go and see our commanders. So let's have a look. We did notice during our last visit to our headquarters that there were quite a few commanders with different instructions. So we are going Your to be, you see, it is hard. Eris Moon has something for us, but I think we will go to the other ones first. Step up, Slayer of Indeed I shall, sire. I shall slay them all. Let's have a look. Ikora Ray. We'll talk to her because last time we said nothing. Evening. Part of the Sun Singer. The Sun Singer stands on the precipice of life and death, of light and darkness. Soon you will know what lies beyond and you will face it unafraid. Take the field of battle guardian call to the sun, and when she answers, stand strong in the light. Indeed I shall, ma'am. This helps. So, I've got some um, rewards. I have uh, an increase on my rank. So it says, rank up. Your rank with this faction has increased. Your light shines brightly against the darkness. Burn brightly, Warlock, and be careful out there. Says Ikora Ray. So let's have a look at their ranks. What have we got here? Vanguard Weapons Package. Vanguard Chroma Package. Vanguard Armor Package. Well, we'll go for Vanguard Weapons Package. Because I have to say that during the last mission, when, you know, playing against those wizards, and particularly... Um, uh, whilst fighting the enemies um, on that Cosmodrome, um, I thought my weaponry was not really sufficient. It seemed, you know, a bit weak compared to the might of the enemy. Even the uh, less capable enemies had more pertinent weapons than me. So really I have to work out a strategy through which I'll acquire um, a greater might for the stuff I've got in my inventory. And uh, um, for whatever reason, both the pulse rifles and the automatic uh, ones, they were not really um, as capable as I expected them to be. But I think that is probably a part of the um, advanced gaming on Destiny, particularly during the sections that require co-op or, you know, um, partnership with other players. And it may well be, because I've seen that in one of the, in, in the um, first mission I played yesterday, I was able to um, hit many enemies whilst I was in co-op and I had an insane number of, of kills whilst the other guys um, were not having as many. So for whatever reason um, I must have been you know, more successful uh, whilst playing the co-op in terms of neutralizing the enemy um, as obviously um, the pace of the game changed or well, there, was, there was a twang in there. You could really tell when I played it as a single player it seemed different to the way it was later on. So, um, anyway, let's have a look at the Vanguard uh, weapons package. And I'll acquire this one straight away. Oh, let's have a look at preview before I take it. I see. We have lots of guaranteed items and lots of possible items. So, we better have a look at whatever we are to acquire. Let's see, Motor Flight, Strange Coin, Other Side of Nothing, LDR 5001. Well, that's what I wanted to get. Never Ending Battle. Complete Strikes in the Vanguard Playlist. 
Strikes are the vanguard's response to the ever-encroaching darkness. Open enrollment means the tower has an adaptable roster of guardians ready to unravel our enemy's plans before they begin. Right, so we need to complete strikes in the vanguard playlist. And that is obviously with our new rank. I'm rank up now with the vanguard. Alright, let's see. Accept quest. Thank you. Vanguard strikes, complete strikes in the Vanguard playlist. Right. So let's see where we need to go first. Uh, so that would be in the inventory. Vanguard strikes. Strikes completed. Primary weapon. Upgrade the Vanguard reputation. Details. The tale of how the Guardian took part in Vanguard, Vanguard strikes and helped push the darkness back. Complete strikes in the Vanguard playlist. Vanguard strikes. Strikes are the backbone of the Vanguard's response to the darkness. Each mission is planned for maximum disruption and hindrance of enemy lines. Your strike service directly impacts on our ongoing war with the darkness. So well, right. So where do we go? We actually have some uh, outstanding uh, bits, I think, on our quests list. So it's very much worth checking and triple checking and finding out. Um, let's see, primary kills. I see these bounties are not really acquired yet. No, I don't want to do that. Let's have a look. What have we got here? I see we can go ahead and we can do that. Right. I did that wrong. Vanguard strikes. Right. Year 3, Rise of Iron. Rise of Iron, stand with Lord Saladin to stop the ancient weapon, Siva, or Siva, and take your place in the legacy of the Iron Lords. Hold to break seal. Alright, Echoes of the Past, the way to call. Finish the Rise of Iron campaign. Let's have a look. Rewards. Complete rise of Iron Master. You see, this is something I've not been really um, examining during the gameplay, and it's a bit silly, because it gives us um, a lot more scope for entertainment and for many more achievements and everything else. So I think every single time I'll be revisiting the quest section now before we proceed with any mission. But, you know, that's fine. We open this um, reward section on Year 3 Rise of Iron, and that's good enough. And let's have a look at this one. Uh, Age of Triumph book, book rank one. Not really opening us yet, but we can see. Oh, I see, we need to break the, uh, yeah, okay. We need to break the seal. That's most important. So we need to do the same thing. So that's year three, Age of Triumph. Let's have a look. Complete milestones to rank up the record book. Completion is not required to claim more rewards. Right. So we've got two lots of rewards. Year 3, Age of Triumph, and the other one in the Rise of Iron. Um, and we will have to see. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Once we complete, we will be just given these emblems. Um, and that will be it. I just like love collecting, you know, those kinds of pins. And you can just 
put them on your uniform and you can be then proud, you know, like well decorated servicemen and women. There we go, we got it all. And now we're gonna go to where? Trickily, we lost our thread Vanguard Elite. Yeah, that's the one. I think. Oh, is it? Alright. Hmm. <laughs> Too many quests. I'm getting lost. Stay safe out there. Will do, ma'am. I proceed with caution. I will destroy the enemy. Fear God. Honor the king. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. We are now to go forward. We need to go to the orbit. There we are, back in the orbit, and now we need to go to Vanguard, there, strike playlist, join a fire team of three and face the most feared minions in the darkness, so I needn't tell you, this is going to be a death match, there's going to be a lot of challenging enemies, we're going to have a situation similar to what we had had yesterday, and we are going to have a lot of fun doing that together in co-op with a couple of other guardians. So let's proceed. Look at this. And we are playing the Vanguard for the first time now. So isn't this wonderful and incredibly exciting? We'll take another screenshot of this. Um, I have to admit that I've not been posting those screenshots of Destiny to my Instagram and Twitter as frequently as I should have done and I will dedicate one day to that so we'll have very many, a few hundred of those uh, posted. It is going to be an amazing array of images and you know, uh, uh, bits and pieces dedicated to this wonderful game. Um, <clears throat> I have been uh, posting uh, my screenshots and some fan art from Heavy Rain uh, one of those golden oldie games I played recently. Actually, not really golden oldie. It's it's fairly recent. It's from 2010. Um, but, you know, the game that's absolutely wonderful. One of the best games produced by Quantic Dream. For all of you who love adventure games, you will know Fahrenheit. You will know um, all the other games that the, uh, um, the Detroit Becoming Human uh, produced recently. And, uh, you know, it's absolutely amazing to have a um, combination of concept art with fan art images as well as the screenshots it makes it really uh, a very very complete type of gaming community oriented experience so, so do do come and have a look uh, at some of those images there on my instagram and we now will you know proceed with this without further ado let's have a look take a more strike playlist it's level 36 strike launch a random taken more strike so we're gonna have fire team of three players cooperative matchmaking and all of that is going to be fully in action. There we are. Taken War Strike Playlist. Let's proceed. Uh, I need to equip my character with that brand new weapon that we got. So, let's see. Oh dear, doesn't seem to be that many guardians out there. Hopefully we'll find some. I did notice that the advanced section of Destiny, which would have come on DLCs, are not that frequently played. You get most people playing the lower sections. So, um, not sure why, but for all of you that are obviously the hardcore Destiny fans, um, you can get everything um, on a very good price through PlayStation 4 Network and um, you should definitely indulge it really you know changes the game and provides it with so many different options 
And basically, like some of the other um, games, it, it's you know one of those open world games you can play again and again, million times, as different characters, and you'll always find something to do. Um, I love the idea of being a part of that world, and uh, um, remember many years ago, I... Uh, Funny story for you. Remember that Centurion Oryx took right after you landed on the Dreadnought? Then the Centurion and the Taken Ogre tried to stop you from killing the King? <laughs> Didn't work. So the Centurion's Bond brothers are pretty angry they lost their commander. They're leading a team to blow the Dreadnought's core. Core goes, most of the system goes with it. You're gonna make sure that doesn't happen. Indeed, sire. I'll proceed with caution. I'll destroy the enemy. Fear God, honor the king. Over and out. There we go back to Saturn. Right. Uh, I just want to tell you that um, many years ago, King, I. Why do you think they crashed their ship into the dreadnought? Those are extreme tactics for the Cabal. The Vanguard intercepted a signal, a message from the Cabal from way outside the solar system. A direct order to crash the ship, use it as a beachhead, and take out the King. Now that's loyalty. Absolutely, sire. I'll proceed. Over and out. Um, what I want to say is that many years ago, um, I um, read that wonderful Don Lawrence's um, graphic novel called Trigon Empire, and absolutely loved it. It is still, you know, my personal favorite till the present day. And in Trigon Empire, you had this open world. It's a massive big galaxy with lots of different enemies and civilizations kind of competing for the domination of that empire um, it really was way ahead of its time and it pre actually preceded um, Star Wars by maybe 10 or 12 years because the graphic novel was released in the 60s um, so I, for many years I sort of imagined that one day would be able to watch a film called Trigon Empire um, but actually with the uh, initiation of those open world games particularly in the last sort of five to ten years, uh, we have been able to enter such world, um, you know, immerse ourselves uh, in, uh, you know, the, the entire <coughs> civilization as presented and then become an active participant. And that's just extraordinary. I mean, you have, uh, like in some games, particularly Mass Effect, this major storyline, which is sort of rife with different characters and situations and you become an active participant but you actually feel about those characters Destiny is a bit different um, it's more focused on the activity and um, FPS kind of section uh, but uh, nevertheless it does have that element because you're traveling through the universe and you're entering different planets and you become an active participant and I think that that's really the bottom line in all of that uh, so really um, uh, I love the fact that I was able to live this long uh, to experience this and uh, without further ado, I'll indulge. I need to just change my weapon first of all, because uh, uh, let's have a look. My primary weapon given. Uh, Scott Trifle. Which is this one? 232. Oh, that's the new one, right. Oh, that's a sniper rifle. Oh, awesome. That's actually m absolutely wonderful. Let's have a look. This brand new sniper rifle has 250 attack points. Doesn't have a magazine is of four rather than three. So that's much better because all the snipers used so far were obviously with three rounds. And uh, um, this one will have missing a shot, has a chance to return ammunition directly to the magazine. This weapon gains a boost to range and handling when health is low. So that's awesome. Let's have a look at it. Look at that. Awesome. We already achieved that, which is Eagle Eye Scope. It's the best possible long range scope. We have Infuse. Consume a powerful weapon to boost the attack value of this weapon. You may infuse this gear by imbuing it with another gear spanner. spanner. Okay. We are not going to do that because we don't have many enough items. Let's take a screenshot of this mighty sniper. Everyone who's watched my um, gameplay 
will recognize that um, I use my stealth and sniper more than anything else, particularly when the game is obviously allowing me to do that. Um, taking out the enemies from you know afar is obviously a good strategy, and it really works. So I would most highly recommend it to everyone. Uh, so let's see. We'll put this into action immediately. We got our helmet on. We have done and dusted, and now is the time to carry on. We'll actually equip. Yeah, that's the new sniper rifle. Excellent. <clears throat> Oh, received an invitation. So let's have a look what the invitation is. Let's have a look. Bear with us a second. We will proceed within seconds. I thank you for your patience. Generally, what I do when playing this game, if I receive any messages, invitations, I, you know, I go to um, uh, my PS app on Sony Xperia, so it makes it nice and easy and less uh, intrusive to our gaming session. So just bear with us, we'll see what is ahead of us. Okay, we have Amin Asana asking us. Let's have a look. No, oh, it's just offline, All right? Right, we've got a new friend, I'm in Asana. Well, thank you so much for accepting my um, for accepting my invitation. And uh, let's have a look. That's all done. Perhaps you can join me in the game as well. You'll find me here, DRB Miller. Yeah, and I'll look out for you, I'm in Asana as well, if you're in this section of the game. Thank you so much for accepting my friend request. And we will now proceed. So just bear with us. I need to put my phone away, and then we will carry on. There we go. Right, so let's proceed. Our mission, let's not forget, is to enter the Cabal ship and engage the forces. And we are in Mausoleum. So, just have a look again. We have cold shots. 
and weapons expert. We need to earn medals and we need to assist medals. So that's going to be cool. There's sort of new things which are added on for this mission. What should I say before this mission? All right, there is the enemy. Look at them running. So remember, we always need to stay in cover. Keep our cool heads. Proceed with caution. It's my destiny. 2014 has come in and saying hi. Hi, how are you doing? Good to see you. Thank you very much for joining our broadcast and being a part of our community. <clears throat> we have only began with this mission, so you know, it's going to be quite exciting. Let's find out. We need to get into the Cabal ship first. How is everyone? Are you having a lot of fun? <clears throat> How has your... How has your day been so far? Did I miss him? I did. Oh, no, the Have a look, we need to go up this way. So, I know what might be causing the problem. All right, just bear with us. Oh no, too many problems at once. To sort out the network problems, bear with us. I know what's causing it. clock. What is happening? Hell's breaking loose. There we go. I am not in cover. Right. Where's he gone now? What's happening? It's too bad.
No ammunition. Oh no. Right, plenty of enemies run here, that's for sure. But as you can see, as I'm holding this elevator position, they're all um, more vulnerable than me. But I really need to sort out this uh, network problem. I don't know as to why the lag is being reported. I think it's something on PlayStation Network rather than mine. Um, bear with us, I need to double check this. It's very annoying when these things happen, but you know, such is life. This is what happens where you have technical problems halfway through the game. That's really annoying, right? What is happening? I'm well, well hidden. I, I do apologize to my viewers, but um, I had several messages indicating that there's something wrong with the network and that um, there's some problems with my stream, that the stream's lagging. Uh, thank you very much for letting me know, because I'm, I'm watching it on a separate device and um, didn't seem to be having any issues, but it must be something network related. So bear with me. Um, Major problems, I'm afraid. I'm so sorry about this. There's nothing I can do. There's some problem with um, the network at the moment. I'm trying to work out whether it's my home network or whether it's Twitch or, you know, whatever it is. Right, I think it's working out better now. Let's see. <coughs> I'm so sorry about the wait. But you know, as we are dependent on our internet service providers and obviously the networks that are allowing us access to the online gaming, if there is a technical problem, then there is nothing we can do. We just have to sit and wait. Um, hmm, I'm getting another problem on my stream by the looks of it. I don't know why. Hmm. 
to apologize for you know the trouble but um, I, I don't seem to be able to get um, my twitch stream going at the moment for some reason don't know why no it's not working I'm afraid we will have to um, discontinue the session because for some reason it's not transmitting on Twitch I don't understand why can anyone who's watching this at the moment um, send me a message saying whether you can see anything because I'm having two or three different messages um, here I'm getting some from PlayStation Network and I'm getting another lot from um, uh, Twitch so I need to work out whether there is a fault which I can eradicate whether it's on Twitch I'm not sure it seems to be working fine on PlayStation Network but on Twitch it's not streaming Tell me what's happening. Mm. <clears throat> this is not looking good. What do we do? just doesn't seem to work oh well well I think I will oh it's good on Twitch is it old thing gamer thank you so much sir for letting me know I don't know what's going on but uh, um, can you actually see the live broadcast on Twitch on mine on my monitors it just seems to be um, giving me like a major error message so I don't know why Old Thing Gamer says it's PlayStation Network. It may well be, you know. There were some problems recently with the uh, with the network, um, and uh, I talked to their technical support uh, in the US, and they said that sometimes when the servers are overloaded with you know the new games being released and that, um, not sure. I think the um, Red Dead Redemption is due to be out. So it may well be that um, the service are a bit overloaded, but I don't know really what's happening because on... Hmm, bear with me. I just want to double check on um, on my um, Twitch, which is browser-based. Just want to see whether I can get that. It's just very disconcerting, you know, that uh, um, it seems to be working on one platform and not on the other, so it's really very annoying. I do apologize, it's it's the first time I'm, I'm having this sort of major issue after a long, long while, and I don't know why. No, it's not allowing me. There seems to be some problem with Twitch. I don't know what it is. I mean, if you guys... Oh! Old Thing Gamer says, on Twitch it's showing the PlayStation error. Well, what I'll do is, um, I'll have to restart the session, unfortunately. Not something I intended to do. But maybe there is some sort of bug on PlayStation Network which will be resolved when we um, restart. So for everyone watching, I'm just um, going to ask you to come back again and uh, re-access. It will be in a couple of minutes. I'm very sorry about this, but uh, what I don't want is to, um, you know, to have some sort of major interference with the viewing. 
um, because I have no control over what might or might not happen on Twitch and you know the way the PS4 network communicates to um, Twitch forums and it's obviously uh, um, particularly disconcerting when you can see that the ERA is recurring so we'll have to cut this short and we'll restart the broadcast immediately so I'm inviting you um, all to come back as soon as you can and you can obviously proceed with the viewing so bear with us and we will restart literally within a couple of minutes or within a minute or so as soon as we can once again I apologize to all my viewers there seems to be a, a major problem between the PlayStation Network and Twitch and therefore we are not able to have um, a proper stream several people had come in earlier warning me on uh, lag and therefore I'll have to restart the session so bear with us and I'll see you very very shortly <laughs>